Last words of 10 notorious serial killers. 1. I'm going home, babe. James Allen Red Dog, executed by lethal injection in 1993. Red Dog was from Fort Peck, Indian Reservation. He committed at least four murders. The serial killer was executed at his own request. He asked for the death penalty to expedite this for the families. 2. How's this for a headline? French fries. James French, executed by electric chair in 1966. French killed a random motorist who picked him up. He asked for the death penalty, but was sentenced to life instead. So he deliberately strangled a fellow inmate. At the second trial, French demanded to be executed. The judge obliged his request. 3. I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Thomas J. Grasso, executed by lethal injection in 1995. Grasso murdered two women in their 80s. His last meal was enormous. It included mussels, clams, cheeseburgers, spare ribs, strawberry milkshakes, and more. 4. Hurry it up, you who's your bastard. I could kill a dozen men while you're screwing around. Carl Panzerum, executed by hanging in 1930. Panzerum committed a huge number of crimes. He wrote an autobiography, confessing to them in prison. Panzerum was a murderer, rapist, arsonist, and mass killer. The final tally of victims was over 100. He spat in the executioner's face for being too slow. 5. Gentlemen, I have one last piece of advice. Look away. This will not be pretty to see. Marcel Petio, executed by guillotine in 1946. Petio was a French doctor turned serial killer. The remains of 23 people were found in his basement, but he may have killed more than 60. Petio was arrested during World War II. He claimed he was a resistance fighter who killed enemies. This was a lie. 6. I am ready to be released. Release me. Kenneth Macduff, executed by lethal injection in 1998. Macduff abducted and murdered three teenagers in 1966. He was initially sentenced to death. Then his sentence was commuted to life. In 1989, he was released on parole. He began killing again within three days. Macduff was rearrested, then released again. After another crime spree, he was finally captured. He was convicted of nine murders, but suspected of more. 7. Turn up the radio and I'll go quietly. Peter Manuel, executed by hanging in 1958. Manuel was convicted of seven murders in Scotland. He's believed to have committed at least two more. Manuel sacked his lawyer and acted in his own defense. He tried to convince the court the victims had killed each other. It didn't work. 8. I don't care if I live or die. Go ahead and kill me. Jeffrey Dahmer, bludgeoned to death by a fellow inmate in 1994. Dahmer was convicted of 16 murders. His crimes were notoriously perverted. He dismembered his victims and kept their body parts. He also engaged in necrophilia and cannibalism. Dahmer was sentenced to 16 life sentences in 1992. He was killed by a fellow convict two years later. God told me to do it, said his murderer. 9. Kiss my ass. John Wayne Gacy, executed by lethal injection in 1994. Killer clown Gacy raped, tortured, and murdered 33 boys. He committed all these crimes in his own house. Gacy famously worked as a clown and drew pictures of clowns. He tried to plead insanity, but it didn't work. 10. Okay, talk is over, words are placid and weak. Back it with action, or it all comes off cheap. Watch close while I work now, feel the electric shock of my touch. Open your trembling flower, or your petals I'll crush. Israel Keys committed suicide in 2012. Keys was a serial killer, arsonist, burglar, rapist, bank robber, and kidnapper. In fact, there were few felonies he didn't commit. His nationwide crime spree lasted 11 years. The FBI suspected him of 11 murders. Only three have ever been decisively proved. Keyes killed himself in jail while awaiting trial. He slashed his wrists with a smuggled razor, then hanged himself. His last words are his suicide note, dubbed an ode to murder.